Well, Jeannie, right behind me we have uh, Jean-Dominique Senard, who has just been appointed chairman of the board of Renault. He's giving his speech uh, in English right now, uh, expressing his gratitude and uh, basically saying how much he recognizes the challenges facing Renault, the complexity of the situation he's in. Uh, Thierry Bonnere has been named general director. Both of these names were expected. Uh, in fact, this day has been coming for a while. The French government has been dropping hints, floating it's particularly these two names over recent weeks. They've tried to stand by Carlos Ghosn since his arrest on November 19th. Uh, under the presumption of his innocence, but as allegations keep piling up against him and as his bail continues to be denied in Japan, it looks like he's going to be in that jail for a long time. Very hard to run a company as large and complex as Renault from a Tokyo jail cell. So eventually the French government, which is the largest stakeholder in Renault, and the rest of Renault's board uh, decided that it was, in fact, time to move on, turn the page with new leadership. Brian, how is Renault going to handle this crisis in the future, smooth over this transition, if you like? I mean, it obviously did take a hit uh, with these charges surrounding Carlos Ghosn. Indeed, uh, this is a very important alliance to uh, Renault, uh, Nissan and Mitsubishi, as well as to their home countries, to France and Japan. So it's very important for all involved that this relationship is smoothed over that said, like, as you say, it's been a very rough ride in recent months. There's been uh, a lot of anger between even the companies. There's been reports in Japanese media of uh, Renault sending an angry letter to Nissan about Nissan's investigation into Renault's employees. Uh, it, it, obviously, there is tension there. And I think these two men in particular are chosen on the basis perhaps of their ability to handle that tension. Both, uh, especially I believe Thierry Bolloré has uh, extensive experience in Asia. He's, uh, he's an old hand in the car industry, but he spent a lot of time in Asia uh, and especially in Japan. So they're hoping, I think, that he will have the expertise uh, to, to essentially begin to repair this relationship because all parties do want this. Brian, thank you so much. That's France 24 business editor, Brian Quinn.